16 year old kid dreaming. You know, I think it's my duty to create different opportunities and ways to support the, the kids' goals and give them a jump start to what they want to do. I just want to inspire the next generation to do bigger and greater things. I was that kid walking around Scarborough Town Center uh, every Friday night um, holding a basketball and just dribbling around the mall, waiting for um, you know my time at the YMCA to happen. So Nicholas Carino, better known as Nico, president and co-founder of the Scarborough Shooting Stars. Growing up in, in, in like a household of like you know a first generation Filipino family, born and raised in Scarborough. So it's kind of like brought up in the uh, Filipino community, but like, you know, in, in, in the basketball world, I guess, you know, Filipinos love basketball. You know, the Raptors came out in 95, I want to say, and, and like, you know, that was a big, you know, that was a big moment for us, you know what I mean? And mom immediately, like, you know, put me in the Raptors camps and stuff like that, and, you know, uh, really engaged in the sport. Uh, Nico and I, we played, uh, we played on the same team, the Scarborough Blues. Um, and, you know, we had probably like one of the most exciting teams back then. And um, Nico will tell you that he was probably the better player, the better shooter, whatever. He was a good shooter. That was it. Just to be a part of this team and, and to know that that long and our friendship being so tight for that long is uh, it's, uh, it's been amazing. To be to be a part of this uh, league from the beginning till now is, uh, is a blessing and to actually be close to home uh, to Toronto is is also a blessing and um, you know like I tell my friends and family this basketball stuff has been like full circle for me so it's a blessing. You know what people don't know about him is that like he was like the one of the pioneers of of Canadian basketball. You know, unfortunate for his high school injuries, he was one of those guys that could have went to the NBA straight out of high school. You know, for him to be a part of this and what we're doing now is like it, it means a lot. Like you know, to have somebody homegrown, somebody that actually you know that I have a close relationship with, earn their way on the basketball team. You know what I mean? So. You know, I'm happy that he's a part of this team and I'm happy that he's still playing uh, the game he enjoys, so. If you're from the GTA, you know about Scarborough. You know, Cole was only one example, but Xavier Wraith and Mays, he was a little kid watching us play on the other side of the basketball court, and, and now he's like the man, you know what I mean? So Kyle Alexander, another Scarborough guy, you know, to see ESPN talk about Scarborough, to see, you know what I mean? It's like, you know, people are starting to notice Scarborough. Whether it be entertainment or, or through sport, I think like, you know, Scarborough's now its own entity. First time for the end tonight. <laughs> it is the opener for the Scarborough Shooting Stars. Coach Excellence, how are you feeling right now? Because the game is about to go underway. It's not just a home opener, it is the home opener for the inaugural season of the Shooting Stars. How special is that? Special moment in time. This is historical for everybody right here. So we're super excited. We're glad to be back home. Blessed for the opportunity. Absolutely, Coach. Good luck. This place is just starting to fill up. It is going to be jammed. I don't even know how to describe the feeling, but the CEBL has grown and grown and grown. And to have a first-time team in the GTA says a lot about the growth of this game. miles per hour might crash because a good die on. Did a good die on. Push it to the limit. I can't go no more. Their offense, when it moves, really moves. Like this. Will they hit it? Yes! Yes! In 
anything I do, I, pro I probably want to leave behind a legacy, right? OVO is always community first, you know what I mean? Like, we, we kind of want to impact youth. You know, rest in peace, um, had conversations with Virgil Abloh. The reason why he does things is, is for his, like, childhood self, you know what I mean? You know, those conversations truly resonated with me because it's like, what do we look back on and, and, and get inspired by? It's like, I wanna, I wanna make my kids proud and something that my kids could possibly hold on to. Again, I always talk about inspiring, like, you know, I need, to, I, want, I need to inspire my son and my daughter, you know what I mean? So just, just living righteous and, and, and doing the right thing. I think that's my life story, being loyal, you know, being a good friend, good father, and, and again, just doing the right thing. I think things will work out, you know what I mean? So.